I just uh, placed my first official bet for um, the Kansas City Chiefs to win the Super Bowl. All right. Let me check. Yep. Round. I don't know. It just kind of solidifies who you really want to win. <laughs> and it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, you care a lot more, especially with families and wives betting and against each other. Like in my house, my wife's betting somebody else, so. So sports betting has been around for a long time, uh, but for the longest time it was just in New Jersey and in Nevada. Um, in the last several years, it's spread to over 30 states, and this is the first time there's ever been a Super Bowl in a state with legalized sports betting. Uh, we beat Nevada, we beat Vegas, but yeah, it's, it's really exciting. Not only is it across the street, not only is it in our backyard, um, people can come here, place a bet on their team legally, go to the game, watch their team win, come back and get their money, and then play in the casino. So it's pretty exciting. This is the only physical sports book on an NFL campus ever. Bearing in mind, sports wagering wasn't allowed until recently. And so not only is this on the, uh, the NFL campus, it's on an NFL campus that is home to the biggest game in professional sports in America. It's the stadium's right behind me. It's, uh, we couldn't be more excited. We've got it all covered, including some of the more interesting or fun markets like what color the Gatorade's going to be. And 33% of all bets taken on that market are on yellow-green. Um, other uh, winners of the coin toss. Now, the reality is you toss a coin, it's 50-50. So why is all the money on tails? <laughs> We're very much looking forward to next year as well, taking nothing away from, uh, from this weekend, weekend's event, but I'm sure next year will be Vegas style. So strap on your seatbelts.